Question number two is an easy one. They want you to differentiate this function with respect to x. So dy upon dx will be 27 is a constant, keep it as it is. x power n, when you differentiate it becomes nx power n minus 1. Minus. Here, nx power n minus 1. A constant, a term independent of x will become 0 when differentiated. So it's 27 over 2 x power minus half minus 3 over 2 x power 3 minus 2 half. That's it. So you have to show these steps very clearly. Can I just write the answer? Now in part B, they want you to find the coordinates of the stationary point of this function. The moment they say stationary point, you need to take the first derivative, put it as equal to zero. So this thing equal to zero. Okay. Now you see, look at the function. If it is a linear quadratic cubic, we know how to solve. But this is kind of a weird looking function. If you are wondering how to solve this, first start with writing this in the denominator because you have a negative index here. So write it as 27 over 2 times 1 over x power positive half. And for this term here, you get 3 over 2 x power positive half. Negative becomes positive. Maybe you can get rid of the fraction by multiplying everything by 2, so that 2, 2 will be cancelled. Now we have another fraction here, you see. You have x power half in the denominator, so multiply both sides by x power half. So here the x power half will be gone, you will have only 27. Here 3, x power half times x power half is x power half plus 1, which is 1. So x is 9, 27 over 3. That's how you solve this. Once you got the x value, put the x value back into the original function, not in the first derivative. You have to put it in the original function to find the y coordinate. Substitute here. So your y will be 27 times 9 power half, which is square root of 9, 3, minus 9 power 3 over 2, minus 20. 9 power 3 over 2 is 3 square power 3 over 2. 2, 2 will be cancelled, 3 cube is 27. So 27 times 3 minus 27 is 27 times 2, 54. 54 minus 20, 34 if I'm not wrong. So y is 34, x is 9. So write the values as a point, 9 comma 34 is the stationary point. Part C says, find the second derivative d square y by dx square and then they want you to find the nature of the stationary point. Nature means whether this point is a local maximum, local minimum or point of inflection. Whether they ask you to find second derivative or not, you need the second derivative in order to find the nature of the point. So you differentiate it one more time. 27 over 2, negative half x power negative half minus 1, minus 3 over 2, half x power half minus 1. Simplify this, negative 27 over 4, x power negative 3 over 2, negative 3 over 4, x power negative half. That's the second derivative. Now, you have to plug in the x coordinate of the stationary point into the second derivative and check what happens here whether you get a positive number, a zero, or a negative number. So now we are going to substitute the x coordinate of the stationary point into the second derivative. So d square y by dx square 
at 9 comma 34 is negative 27 over 4 9 power negative 3 by 2 negative 3 over 4 9 power negative half use your calculator to find this value 3 square square will be cancelled 3 q 1 over 27 cancel negative 1 over 4 here 3 square 2 2 will be cancelled 1 over 3 negative 1 over 4 you will get a negative number in fact we are not interested in the value we just want to know whether it's a positive number negative number or zero so there are three cases if the d square y by dx square is a positive number the point is a local minimum if it's less than zero negative number this is local maximum and if it's zero you can write the point as point of inflection.